on. Today I'm gonna to be talking about being a teen mom. I first became pregnant at 14 with my son Javier Jr. I um, had him when I was 15. He was born March 31st of 2014. First thing I have to say is that nobody's ready to be a parent, no matter the age. Nobody will ever be ready to be a parent. You can't be taught to be a parent, it just comes naturally. Once you have the baby, you'll learn more as you go. I thought it was going to be easy, but being awake at 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, being woken up two or three times during the night, not sleeping at all, it's not fun. Um, but I do not regret it. I love my kids to death. Um, with Junior, I had a normal delivery vaginal delivery i'm gonna go ahead and talk about my delivery because it was a tough one um i was 41 weeks pregnant when i got induced i had him vaginally um i lost a lot of blood i had a seizure everything went was going well i was laying in bed visiting with my family and i touched my husband now, boyfriend at the time. Um, I touched him and let him know that I wasn't feeling well and he got worried. He uh, called the doctors and stuff and before he can even say anything, um, I had a seizure so everybody had to clear the room. I blacked out, uh, woke up to nobody in my room, just my mother. I was just so scared. I thought I wasn't gonna make it out. Um, I heard my family members crying for me. They told me they got scared. And then after a while, I tried to get up on my own. I went to go use the restroom, doing all that stuff that pregnant women aren't able to do after birth. I ended up fainting while I was using the restroom. My mother-in-law, I believe, was the only one in the room at that time. I'm not sure where my mom was, but as soon as my mother-in-law called my mother, she was there right away. I think my mom was visiting my son, Junior, at the nursery. I recovered from that. I wasn't able to change my son, hold my son, or anything for, I think, two days. At the, after those two days, I finally got to hold him. We went home and everything was fine. I was fine. I was doing better after they gave me. I did have a blood transfusion. Um, I had the epidural and I felt like that's why I lost a lot of blood because I was pushing too hard because I couldn't feel anything in there. I just wanted my son to come out and I pushed too hard. It took me three pushes to get my son out. Um, they said it was pretty good, but ended up popping a blood vessel and that kept bleeding and they couldn't stop the bleeding. So my doctor had to call another doctor in to help, to help him and they finally got it stitched up. I stopped bleeding and everything was going back to normal. After that, I was kind of nervous to get pregnant again. I was scared. I was scared to get pregnant after that. Um, I did get pregnant four years later, um, so I was 19 when I got, well I was 18 when I got pregnant, 19 when I, 19 when I had my son, Dominic. Um, I did have a difficulty with him also, I had him vaginally. Um, both of my babies were healthy, they were fine. After I had my son Dominic, um, my uterus was not contracting, so I was bleeding a lot. Um, I ended up passing, I, w I felt fine. Like I'm telling you, I felt so fine after I had my son. At that, I was like, okay, I feel way different than what I did when I had my second son, or my first son, sorry. And, um, so I was up, I was talking, I was walking, walking slowly, but I was walking. Um, I was visiting with my family, holding my son, changing my son, feeding my son, all that. And then they transferred me to a different room in 
a wheelchair, of course. And I got up to use the restroom and I passed out. Out of nowhere, I just passed out. They had to carry me to my bed. Uh, <clears throat> my uterus wasn't contracting, so they had to put a balloon. I'm not sure what it's called. It's just a balloon that helps your uterus contract so it can go back to normal. Um, that was a tough process. Um, you do not want to know what that feels like. It is torture. Um, I'm not trying to scare you out there. It's just what I've been through. Every pregnancy is different. Every person, every woman's body is different. You can have a smooth delivery, a smooth recovery, everything. Um, I've never had a C-section. I've never had to have a C-section. I've seen people that had to have a C-section. And like I said, every woman is different. Every woman's body is different. Every pregnancy is different. There's no telling what could happen. But you would want to think the best for you and your son or your daughter. After everything got situated and everybody was able to come back in, I was able to eat finally. Um, I did go into labor at 38 weeks and 3 days with my son Dominic, which I love because I didn't want to be pregnant overdue at 41 weeks like my son Junior. Um, I induced myself by bouncing on a yoga ball, bounce on it and you do like the circle hip rotations on it, um, it helped me a lot. I was having contractions in the morning, like around 10, 11. We went to the doctor. I was there from like 12 to, I was in one room for like 12 to two, one maybe. They were just monitoring me, making sure everything was okay. I was having contractions. I was opening quick, so they had to move me right away to a different room. They got me all situated. Um, I went into the labor room at 2.30, I believe, and had my son at 8.45, I think, at 8, around 8 something. Uh, that was a really short labor. Right now, I'm 20 years old, I have a 5 year old, and I have a 1 year old. I do want to try for another baby here in um, 1 or 2 years. Yes, I am scared that I might have another difficulty, but I believe in God. He has his hands over me, and he'll protect me through anything. It's not easy. The key to having or to being a young parent or a parent at any age is to have patience. You have to have a lot of patience. And love them, give them your time, even if you have a second child, Give your first child time. Like spend time with them too. I know a baby needs a lot of attention. Don't forget that you have another child. Okay guys, I'm not sure what else to say. Um, if you have any questions on being a teen mom or a young mom, a young parent at all, um, please comment down below or message me if you want me to do another video on anything else of being a teen mom or any questions you guys have I would like to record that video for you guys um, if you guys want more sit down talks with me story time or whatever um, just let me know down below or give me a message send me a message um, and that'll be it for this video if like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I upload a video um, thank you for watching and I'll be back with more videos bye